Billy in Dallas, Texas. You wanted to talk about capital gains? I did, Tom. Yeah, the, uh, what prompted my call was I heard you last week uh, interviewing a gentleman at CPAC, and he was arguing against taxing capital gains at the income tax rates because it was double taxed. And um, your argument back to him on that was uh, that any money that, that comes out has already been taxed in some form or another, so that really doesn't matter. And well, yeah, and, and an easy example is I, I pay income tax on my paycheck. Does that mean I should be able to walk into a store and say I'm not going to pay sales tax? Sure. But I think there's a, a much more succinct way to make that argument and have it cut through things, okay. which is that any money that you receive in capital gains, you haven't paid any taxes on anyway. If you buy a house for a million dollars and then you sell it for 1.1, you're going to pay capital gains on uh, $100,000. Right. And that's $100,000 you never paid tax on anyway. Right. Yeah. So, so why not tax that at ordinary interest rate or ordinary income rates? Agree completely. Yeah. I think that's a better way to, to argue it, and it makes it much simpler. To yeah, and, and uh, well, uh, yes, yeah, you're right. Um, the, the capital gains tax, as applied to a capital gain, like, hey, your house became worth more, or the stock in your portfolio became worth more, that's a lot easier to argue the way that you're arguing it. What he was arguing was the, you know, taxing dividends as capital gains. And dividend, and the whole rationale behind this is dividends are money that corporations distribute after they have declared their profit, after they've paid tax on that profit, and they still have money left over, and therefore it's already been taxed. In theory, the fact of the matter is that a quarter of the profitable corporations in America uh, that are you know larger than billion dollar corporations pay no taxes at all anyway, and they still distribute dividends. So you know, True. more often than not, it's not even taxed. But and then and then you've got carried interest. You've got these guys on Wall Street who say, "Well, you know, we should be taxed at the capital gains rate because we made our money in the stock market, and uh, we're calling it carried interest, which is this bizarre little you know world of of uh, income that only applies to people basically churning stock, and and that's another giant loophole." But your point is well taken, Billy. It's it's very well taken. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for the call, and thanks for sharing it.